The Tigers are on their way. They've lost their last nine matches away from Leichhardt, losing all five on the road this season. And have a one here at Campbelltown for, what, eight, nine years now. Five wins from 12 matches in 99. They started this round in 12th spot, backing up from a 52-point thrashing by the Bears last week, and the coach, Wayne Pierce rated it as his biggest losses, either a coach or a player, at Belmain. And no late changes to the lineup as per program. Captain is Darren Center in the 13 jersey. The playmaker is number seven, Craig Field. The Belmain Tigers. It's John Carlaw. It's his 50th first, first grade game today, Carlaw. And it's been a while, but they're back at home. The first match at Campbelltown since round 24 last year, led out by Mesha, the hooker. Defence has been a major problem, conceding 156 points in their last four matches, an average of 39. They have to get that right today. Tommy Rodonikas, of course, is the coach. And no late changes for the Magpies either. It's going to be an interesting battle in the halves with Dorothy and Dinova, the two playmakers. Up front, not a bad front row with Howard and Skandalis, two big front rowers. Mesha, the captain and hooker today. Just two wins from 11 matches in 99 for the Magpies. They beat Penrith 7-6 and South 20 points to 18. Started this round on the bottom of the table on eight points. And they are coming off a 50 to nil hiding from the Broncos. So I think uh, both sides, Gary Freeman, have just got to forget about last weekend and start afresh. Yeah, well, I don't think there would have been any videos like this week. You know, I know that uh, the pressure is on everybody out here today. Troy Weir goes to kick the ball off. Camden High School, great kick, son. Well done. Go get that ball and keep that for later, too. Oh, he wants another one. <laughs> Good on him. I'll tell you what, the big thing here, I reckon, the only probably two sets of six in defence for the Magpies is going to be absolutely sensational. They're going to be up in everyone's face, and the referee will have to take pretty much control of the game straight away. Paul McLean. Only his second first grade game since round six this year, so he's had an interrupted season. The video referee is Johnny Gosher. Jason Larry has been a great buy for the Tigers. Their top stat man, top offloader in the comp, most hit ups averaging 13 a match. And Brett Hodgson just about ready to get us underway. Round 14. War of the crowd here in a big crowd at Campbelltown to welcome their home side back and Walker. Runs it up to Play the 20. Back, back. So you're expecting fireworks early on, Gary. It's the first penalty. Well, that just shows you. I think the Paul McBlain, the referee here today, is expecting fireworks too. He knows there's a lot of pressure on both sides to come away with the points here, so he's trying to keep them apart early in the match. West really have to stop conceding penalties. They've conceded more than any other team in the competition. And it's the Belmain Tigers who find touch. Well, it's a perfect day. Sideline is Russell Fairfax. They couldn't have asked for better weather for the opening of the stadium. There is some talk that West officials ordered this, this condition some months ago. So it's with the second penalty now. And you're dead right about Paul McGrain keeping these two sides apart. But the ground is a little bit soft. Um, it's been laid two weeks ago and it may turn up, but everything else is perfect. There is no breeze to speak of, a calm before the storm. Make no what whatsoever. about a tip? I'm not going to back down. Well, I'm, I'm going to go with the, uh, with the home side. I think, okay. like Gary Freeman, Tommy will have them revved up a treat. I'd be surprised if, uh, if we don't see some fisticuffs at some stage. Well, there you can see the referee. He's back on the 10-metre line there, about two to three metres in front of him. Fair enough penalty there. But as you said, Russell, you'll have them actually fired up, eating ox hearts raw. First shot a goal for Shannon Nevin, the fullback for the Tigers today. He's back on the 30-metre mark, almost in front. Just over a minute gone, so this will be a great confidence boost for the Tigers. But no trouble getting out of their own 20 in that opening set because of a couple of penalties. All of a sudden, they're at the other end of the park and with a great opportunity to post them points. No problem. The radar working from the outset. 2 0 Belmain over West, and Belmain look to have quite a few supporters in the crowd here today as well. This has been a lot of conjecture in '99 about whether or not these two clubs should be two clubs that uh, will merge. They should merge. It's got a bad ring to it, though, the Western Tigers, but 
I mean, both sides wouldn't like to do it and probably personally wouldn't like to see the Tigers merge from the south but it comes down to it someone has to make a decision good defense so they're pretty fired up early on three Bay Pie defenders in there on that occasion on Walker and now it's Larry taken by McGuinness also in there was Spence keep working it over to the far side this is center now he's about 12 or 13 meters from halfway this is Mark Stimson An amazing comeback from a work accident where he lost two toes Mark Stimson his third match back now and there's the kick from field great take by Hodgson though the field's kicking game is going to be so important to the Tigers today. It is. It's one thing that probably let them down a little bit last week. But again, he managed to get a good kick in there. And Dory was given a very good chase on the kicker then. And that's good defence there by Walker in centre. Yeah, that was going to come. Big call from the crowd down here trying to influence the referee. Just too slow allowing the player up and they pay the penalty. And it will be Dinover kicking for the broadcast touch. It's a dominant tackle. He's put them down. One. Well, I can't see what was wrong with that tackle. I think, like Russell did say, that come from the crowd and not from really the player himself. Dora, he gives it off now to the big front row, Harvey Howard. Oh, great run by Howard. He's their top hit up Milchin, averaging 13 a match, a top off loader. It's going to be a great battle between Howard and Larry, but now it's the Magpies in great field position. Dora here, dummy half, and Dinover bringing Hodgson. Oh! tackle what about the high shot coming in from Wade Rothery and it's on for young and old well I tell you what I don't think that was a high shot I'll have to see it again but I tell you what he's come flying in shoulder first and it'll be interesting to see what happens here no way. the players had his back turn that was as high as I thought yeah it was as high as I thought I believe we hit him on the shoulder first then went up yep the warrants the penalty I've got number 12's come in, he's claiming a Western Suburbs Zork player, I didn't see him, I've got number 12. I'll have a number 6 for West for coming in a distance. Okay. 12! 12 for Balmain, 6 for West! Are you mate? Yep. Thank you. Go away. 12! So the tackle was at shoulder and went up? Sorry. I, I didn't see the actual point of no, contact. But this is the play in a minute, sorry. You're 13. Sorry, Mark. Darren, come here. Stand up. Okay, okay, we've got the incident with Chief penalised for the high shot. I believe hit the shoulder, went up, it warrants the penalty. Yep. This player is claiming a Western Suburbs player came in. I can't adjudicate on this. I saw this player running in from a distance and grabbing hold and claiming a player. Okay. Right. Virtue the same report. I have this Western Suburbs player running a distance and getting involved. You had it all under control until these two players came in and broke it all up for you. Okay. Yeah. So they're down to 12, the Tigers, in the sin bin. Dinova into the sin bin as well for 10. O'Neill for Belmain. I'm going to place it on report and you won't do those again. The tackle is on report. The penalty is going to go to West. Mate, the lines would come in and said it come off the shoulder first, so I don't know how that's going to end up being it. Apparently, let's have a look at the tackle here. There is nothing wrong with that whatsoever. That is a great shot. The player was blind. Then all the other Western Suburbs players flew in there, and he's put them in the bin. The lines would even said it come off his shoulder. Look at this. Oh, they are dead set. Kidding. I can't believe that tackle. Off what the shoulder wrong first with that? of all. Another look at it here. Well, how is that deemed a high tackle, Greg? Russell, you're right in front of it. That is a super tackle. That's what you want your wingers to do. If you want to coach them to do it right, that's how you do it. Cut the ball up. That's a legit tackle. He takes the ball and all. It was just unfortunate those two players ran in. Unfortunate for the, the two guys when you consider that it was Leo Dinneville, the major playmaker for West, and the skipper for Balmain, Darren Sander, both in the bin. And it's going to be Dorohy now. He squares it up here. So we're locked up on the scoreboard at two all. Both sides down to 12 men with O'Neill and Dinover in the sin bin. 
And of course, Rothery is on report for the tackle, but I don't think we're going to hear any more about that. Oh, I don't think they'll even bother with it. It has been put on report, and the referee's said to the player, and Rothery, make sure that you keep the tackles down. Well, I thought it was an absolutely superb tackle. Shoulder in first, nothing illegal about it whatsoever. Once again, I knew there was going to be fireworks, and that's what put it to a head as Harvey Howard takes it forth for Western Suburbs. He'll play it on the 20. Mesha looking for runners, finding Spence now. He picks up 10 metres. To the short side they go. This time it's Fuller. And my forward's getting a good roll on. Scandalous' turn this time. As Mesha waits for it again. Spence. He makes it to the halfway. One tackle remaining. Back to Mesha. And Dorahi. Well, Hodgson did well to get that kick away in support. And what about the roll? Has he been practicing that on his new surface here at Campbelltown? Well, he might have been doing that. Dorahi did very well to get the ball away. He was under a bit of pressure there from Carlaw. And Walker, they come in to make the tackle on him. Very good chase from the Balmain players. But equally a great kick there from Hodgson. Got the little bounce and made it around about 30 metres. So let's have a look at the rear range back line here for the Magpies with let's get him in. Dinever in the sim bin. They brought uh, Chris Marlin off the bench. He was standing in the centres. And they've lost the ball, the Magpies, and it's Marlin that has it. Play on. Scandalous. Over the top it goes. He picks up Jared Mills. He's only about two metres out from the line. Western Suburbs, the Magpies, hot on attack. Brooker can't find a way through. Mesha fires it out. That's Marlin. Makes it up on the bounce. The Tigers, defensive line, holding for the moment. Harvey Howard, he'll take them on straight ahead. Three of them in there to wrap him up. Bellman is short on that left-hand side. Dorahi kicking into the end goal, and Morecambe is back there. He'll take it on the full. He defuses the bomb, and so we're back to the 24, a restart. And that came about from a Belmain Tigers mistake. And they came back from uh, Chris Morecambe making a mistake, but he cleaned up here beautifully, got us back in between himself and the opposition and the ball. These two sides have played 179 matches since 1908. Belmain have won 101. West 70, there have been eight draws. Because they had a clash earlier this year in round eight at Leichhardt. On that occasion, Belmain won by 28 to 16. So the motivation is there for West to even the score. But now they go wide and Nevin is up from fullback over to Morecambe. Morecambe. With the one-handed pass back on the inside. That'll be back to one. That was touched by McGuinness. Stimson. Got a good ball out the back door. In the field. Finding the runners. This time it's Jason Sinclair. Quick play the ball. Field. Gives it out to Larry. Larry turns it back on the inside. Field. Carlaw. Oh, great, great ball. ball. Nevin. It's two on one. Morgan for the corner. Oh. What about the defence? The cover from West was too good. Fred Hodgson got across there and saved the try. Oh, there was great play there by the Belmain backs. First from Sinclair to get the ball on, away. And then Carlaw. And then he's been held up over the try line by Hodgson. What a tremendous tackle. And here's the tackle. He gets right over the top there, turns him on his back. And there he is, he's out. What a tackle. Tremendous play there by the fullback. That will be a result in a 20 metre tap. Have a look at this. That's a super piece of play. Never took his eyes off the intended victim. And he didn't miss him, rolled him over, continued the momentum, or allowed the momentum to take them definitely over the sideline. And that's a certain try saved. So we're locked up at two all still here. The video referee is John Gausher. It's no try. So we'll come back to the 20. Fritz is on there now for the Magpies. Just confirming the two players in the sin bin. It is uh, Leo Dinova 
for Western Suburbs. And at the end, Darren Center, the captain, was the one sin bin, not Mark O'Neill. Both sides down to 12, and this is Fuller. He's 12 from halfway. To the short side they go. Mesha. He'll have to play it. It's near the halfway mark. Brooker at dummy half. Here's Fritz. Plenty of experience coming off the bench. Darren Fritz, 132nd first graded match today. There's the kick from Dorahy. Right into the arms of Rothery. Chase was okay. Sometimes you can get caught with 12 men and you, you want to run that ball in the last tackle. And if Dane Dory's going to do that, he needs some players on the outside of him to put some pressure on Balmain, who already dropped back for the kick. Stimson. 12 from halfway. Sinclair turning it back to Walker. They read that pretty well. The Magpies. 15 is also on there. Scott Coxon. Half break, now a full break. Carlo back on the inside. He just couldn't link up though with Morgan. Chance for a counter attack here. Fuller goes wide. Marlon will play it on his 30. I think Wayne Pierce would have been happy if Carlo could have held that ball. They were virtually hot on attack there, but he threw the ball over the top and Morgan couldn't handle. Mesha. Skandalis. Loses it. Been touched by Belmain. The tackle count restarts. Hodson up from fullback. Fires it out now to Coxon. Coming back inside. Can't find any gaps in there. Now it's Fritz. Strong running up to the halfway. Good defense also. Smithy, get it. Brad Smith penalized. Yeah. Don't try and milk it, mate. It makes it twice as bad. I always, I always had it. Okay, don't try and milk the second bit. <laughs> Good to see the referee knows what the players are doing nowadays. Aaron Fritz and uh, Smith having a little bit of a, a chatter there after the tackle. It'll be interesting to see if he takes the next ball up in this set of six. It's always going to take Fritz a while to get off the deck anyway. Such a big man. <laughs> you can tell him that. Well, this is great field position again for the Magpies. 16. It's Tate Mosley. So Down goes the referee in back play. Sorry, Greg. Tom Radonikas using his bench. And Scandalis. Hit by Walker and also Stimson. Only about 11 metres out now. Pass back on the inside to Mosley, to Scandalis. They're a little flat-footed. Going nowhere at the moment. Still in centre field. Still 11 metres out. Mesha. This time it's Fritz. One out stuff at the moment. Now it's Dorahy and Hodgson. Wide they go. It's been picked up by Mills. Back on the inside is Brooker. Cox in a dummy half to Dorahy. Dorahy, the grubber kick into the end goal. But I'll tell you what, uh, Shannon never, never took his eyes off that one. He had it covered all the way. Got back into the field of play. Yeah, tremendous work there by Shannon. And one to get himself in that position. Knew that Dorahy, if he'd come to the line, he's going to put that little kick in. And now the Tigers are really going to work hard out of this dummy half area. Get the backs in there and make some quick yardage. Larry to play it. Field. Possession gain. The home side's way 57%. Belmain playing too much of the game inside their own half at this stage. As I was saying, when you're down to 12 men, you can actually use the ball just a fraction wider because you've got two markers, a couple of wingers and fullbacks, so there's four or five players out of the play. As Micastini makes up around about 35 metres. Field. Quick hands. Yeah. John, if you're going to be there, mate, you've got to stand square. Western Suburbs mark is not standing square. Well, I'll tell you what, it's pretty close there. It's one area that has let West down. Yeah, it's a problem for them there, Marker, the well, fence. They, they, because the ball's put on the ground, they're just taking off just a, a fraction too quick. It was good work by Scandalis. I can tell you, sorry, go, I can right. tell you that both the sides are back to full strength now. Uh, Denimore's back on the field and so is centre. So they've done their time in the bin. 10 metres inside West Territory. The Belmain Tigers. This is Smith. Brad Smith to play it. Nabel a dummy half. Field. Sinclair. 
Long ball. It floated forward. And the touch judge got him for it. Floated forward about half, two metres, I reckon. Two and a half metres, I'd say. Jason Sinkley, you can see the look on his face then. They, they did the right thing. They kept on going to that left-hand side. You can see it there. Well, I think it's gone through five metres. Yeah, I agree. It's gone five, five metres. Five metres forward. It's thrown us eight metres before the line. He takes it almost on the line. <laughs> We're locked up at two all at Campbelltown. The Magpies and the Tigers, and it's West now. 15 from halfway. Coxon. And it'll do his opposite number, Smith, in the 15 jersey. Centre also in there, lending a hand. Denver. Oh, that is very good defence there by Stimson and Naval. Dorahy. Just managed to get out of the way of a shoulder charge before he was taken by Nabel. And Fritz. Well, look at them. Four Tiger defenders in there. Lined him up. Denver. Good pressure from centre. And now it's Morecambe. Got rid of one. He can't shake the tackle there of Graybeck. Shannon Nevin. Taken ball and all by McGuinness. On the 20. Well, what have you seen these sides last week? The scores against them. You'd say they wouldn't be able to defend on this one. Well, defending by demons, aren't they? Oh, Harvey Howard getting out of the ruck area very, very quickly to put some pressure on Craig Field. Alstini couldn't control the pass. The pass went behind him, but I must say that Harvey Howard got out of that mark area very, very quickly. And Craig Field going to the referee and asking the question, hey, you penalised him last time, why not this time? Denver. Back on the inside is Mills. Jared Mills, 19 metres out from the line. Hodgson at fullback. Now it's Coxon. Siriaco Mesha, captain today. There's no Steve Georgialis in the west side. He's on the injured list. And now this is Fuller. Playing for his fifth Australian club. Matt Fuller. Dinova. Double round with Mesha. Wide they go. McGuinness. And Mosley. Got the pass away to Barry Davis over on the far side. There's the first try of the match. The Western Suburbs made by put on a good move out wide. Davis finished it off for them, and they're in front the home side, six points to two. Yeah, it was just a simple run around, wasn't it? Then just play the numbers. Chris Walker on the Balmain wing out here. He gets in front of Craig Field. Watch him here as he goes to the line. He's got that man covered, and then he's in no man's land. That allows the ball to Davis, who gets over for a fine try for the Maggies. Yeah, look, this is crazy stuff. The Tigers had the numbers. Perfection there. There's John Carlo. He's the man out of the link. And just sets up an extra man out wide. And there was no denying that he was going to get there. Barry Davis. And very, very good work. And it was all in slow motion too. But we've already pointed out to Morecambe. He got in front of field. They've gone up nice and tight. And he just had to hang back because he had his man covered there. John Carl asking the referee to go to the video referee to see if his foot was out before he put the ball down. Third try this year for Barry Davis. That was a great final pass from Mosley as well. The big number 16. Got the hands free over the top, and Davis had a clear run to the line. Well, when you're up against a little man, and they do go low, as Craig Field did then, Mosley managed to pop that ball out the last second. Denver, yeah, not a bad record from out wide as far as goal kicking goes. He's kicked two from three in 99. That's not a bad percentage. And I've really put the mocker on him. <laughs> a shocker. Even Leo will admit that, I'm sure. But it's still looking good for the Magpies on the score sheet. 19 minutes gone, 6-2. This field brings it back to the centre spot. Russell, uh, some early problems here for, for Belmain. They're playing too much of the game inside their own territory. Yeah, they need to step up again. Just seems like they're playing around about 75%. I'm sure the message has gone out to, to lift the intensity, and they'll need to do it. Whatever breeze there is, it's picked up. It favours Balmain, so they'll need to work on it. They need to get some points up, to be quite honest, and try is the only way to go. 
That's a good return of the football from Harvey Howard. He almost dropped it on that occasion as well. So 62% of the possession being enjoyed by the local side. And that's that problem stat for Belmain. 65% down there into the park. I'll tell you what, if you were coach Wayne Pierce, you'd probably be happy that they've only got six points on the board. And here is another penalty. You've got to get Going up against and Coxon. play the ball. You can't dump it on the ground. Here he is trying to turn over and play the ball quickly. John Carlo hanging on. And that's an each way bet, that penalty. Now this could be a good sign for Belmain because we've spoken about the fact that they've spent too much of the match so far inside their own territory. If you have a look at their 28 tries they've scored this year, 21 of them have been scored from inside their opponents 20. This is where they like to attack from. Not too many long range tries. What can they do here? This is Ostini. He's only 10 metres out, right in front of the uprights. The Tigers looking to hit back. Field, Sinclair turning it back on the inside. Nevin. He ran into Dinova. And also in there was Mosley. Galea a dummy half. Sinclair. Oh, well, that's great defence by Mesher. He raced up. Put just pressure on Sinclair. I don't know how a player can get 10 metres behind. Sinclair was probably another two or three metres behind the dummy half area there. He must have super boots on today. Well, he got Speedy away with it. Let's measure a dummy half now. To the short side they go. Fuller. Don't get away from Carlo and also the captain's centre. So where Belmay need to slow them down around that ruck area. They're playing the ball just too quickly as Harvey Howe. That's a very good tackle there. That's Ben Galea. Oh, Charged great down. work. It's been touched, so the tackle count restarts, and it's Hodson. He'll play it on the halfway line. Belmay probably believe their luck deserted them there. Normally with the charge down, there's usually a better result at the end of it. Now it's Coxon. McGuinness taken by Carlo. Besher catching them napping from dummy half. There's an easy 10 metres for the captain. He'll now play it. 21 metres out. Dorahy. Back on the inside goes Mosley. He picks up the support. But the ball has landed in uh, the hands of Craig Field there. So a bit of a let off there for the Tigers. Field coming up with it. Now it's Hancock. He's come off the bench. Craig Hancock. John Carlock picked up and dumped into the turf. The Tigers still parked inside their own territory. Rather replays it. This time it's Ostini. He's getting a good go forward for Castini. Doing very well as now. Craig Field will put the kick in downfield. They need a good chase on the left-hand side with Craig Hancock and John Carlo. This is a try scorer, Barry Davis, running it back into the centre of the park. Taken there, though, by Jason Weber. Mills. Oh, is getting involved. Scandalis, 10 from halfway. Howard. And keep it alive. They need to shift it on the far side. Spence. Got one arm free, but there were too many Tigers in the passing lanes. Hodson. And this kid's playing a lot of maturity nowadays. Hodson, the fullback. In of a long ball, Dorahy. Now it's out to Brooker. Back on the inside is Mills. I must say that was very good work there by Craig Field. Talent is winger to stay out. Rothery stay out. I've got the man who comes back inside. And he comes up with a great tackle here. Look, he tells him to stay there. Bang! Gets it there with the shoulder on Mills. Pulls up a very good tackle there for Balmain. Mills is receiving a little bit of treatment, but he's okay. Now back to his feet in the background. This is Walker. 
one from 11 for the Tigers. The completion rate, but Bell made three from nine, and that's not going to make. There's two of you in there. The coach you're happy. There, you're there. You can't pull the ball out. He certainly won't be happy with that. Two men into the tackle here. Spence going over the top there with McGuinness, and he pulls it out. Oh, he's very lucky there to get the penalty, I think. He's only just got the hand on him. And it's two in the tackle. And a lot of the senior players would like to see that uh, rule kicked out of the comp. Russell, what are you? Do you agree or don't? Oh, come on, Gaz. He did rip it out then, but I'd like to see ball security uh, placed in the hands of the man carrying the football. You know, They're entitled to hold on to the ball. I think they give a, a few penalties away now uh, just because you know, they can't hold the football. I mean, that's not the way to go. They've got to hold the ball, and uh, that's what makes the game so important. Possession. Whoever controls possession controls this game like Balmain are doing right now. And that's Stimson. Chased and put to ground by Spence. Also McGuinness. Ostini. Went into Brayback. Got the pass away, though. Stimson back on the inside. It's Morecambe. And he's 15 from the try line. Down by 6-2 to two at the moment, the Tigers. Sinclair with the kick. Who wants the chase? And Hodgson gets back there and cleans up for the Magpies. Yeah, I thought there was a high shot there. The referee says no, it was around the chest. Yeah, Jason Sinclair weighing up the options whether they go wide. They do have that slide defence. Coxon just managed to get in the road there. There's no hint of a high shot there whatsoever. Jason Sinclair just trying to grab the jersey. Raybeck now. Got the pass away. And this man's got some speed for a big man, let me tell you, but he can't get away from Nevin. Great run there by Matt Spence. So it's the Magpies on a roll again. Still three or four of the Tigers defenders to get back into the defensive line. Coxon, Coxon, he threw it out the back door. Dinever is there and he's knocked it on. Tried to pick it up on the run, tried to scoop it up. He's probably done it a thousand times in his career so far, but not that time. Oh, great work there by the Western Suburbs. So there's the ball that was just dropped off. Well, as you said, Matthew Spence, he's got a lot of pace. He had a lot of work to do in front of him. He saw the players coming at him. And then there's a knock on further down here. But I'll tell you what, Wade Rother, you can see him laying on the ground there. He's made the tackle from the other side of the field. And Denner is the man that comes up with a mistake. Wade Rother, he's still down. Look at the referee oh, saying, you've done your shoulder. You did a magnificent job and cover there, Wade Rothery. He really did save Balmain's bacon then. Well, this is a shame for Rothery. On the report for a tackle earlier on that we didn't think warranted going on report for. Here's the tackle. You can see Wade Rothery's come from nowhere to make this tackle. He's still like slipped off and he'll fall. Oh. Upper body was twisted there, yeah. wasn't it? It's a difficult one to see. They've got a pretty good replacement, Craig Hancock, out there on the wing. So now it is the Tigers still parked inside their own territory. Carlaw. I think John Carlaw should have let that ball go there. That's the area that they do get penalised in Western Suburbs. Very quick out of that dummy half area. Well, they've coughed it up again, Belmay, but there's a knock on there. So they might be a bit lucky here. No. The feed is going to go to Western Suburbs. Here's the ball pop back. Well, if that ball's gone backwards, how's it a knock on? How's it a knock on from Balmain if the ball went back? Well, it's the Magpies who come away with it. Dinova. McGuinness got away from Sinclair. Puts a foot on the gas, but look at that ball and all tackle. Like a good lock forward centre got across there in cover. Ray Beck now. 6-2 they lead the Magpies. First game back at Canberra Town all year. And Dorahy can't find a way through. In front of the uprights. 11 metres out. Denver. Wide ball to nobody and into touch. I think the touch judge could have scored with that. Yeah, just a bit of a going to the line, knowing that the Balmain wingers do come up and in. Right over the top, you see Hancock was in the about five metres infield. The ball would have found us Mark and Mills. It could have been in all sorts of trouble. No, you're right. Nah, that's fair. 
Field. This is Shannon Nevin. He'll play it on the 20. So Western Suburbs have had some opportunities, but they just haven't been able to complete their sets of six. In the last three, they've coughed it up. Centre, 10 from halfway. Ostini. Oh, what about that tackle? I'm so glad that didn't connect. Fair dinkum. If you'd have connected him, someone would have been picking his head off up there. around the chest. Yeah, it goes blood bin anyway. And as I said, I thought if he'd connected, there would have been massive problems with the, re the referees even turned around and said to them, if that had connected, we would have picked up his head on the other side of the paddock. I like John Scandalis' reply, though. He said yeah. it would have been around his chest. <laughs> yes. Well, he was falling into the tackle, you've got to admit that. I was just going to say he was falling down, but I think he would have been a little bit higher than the chest. Russell. Anyway, the penalty goes to Belmain. Certainly a swinging arm in there, and Scandalis is in the blood bin. And Belmain they find themselves inside West Territory, but they really have to do something now. Come up with some points. I mean, him down. I don't think the fullback will be happy with that play there, giving him the ball to take up the first tackle. And Nevin. Coming up to the 30th minute. 6 2. The bait plays over the Tigers. Field goes wide to Sinclair. Running to the line. He'll take the tackle in the end. Centre. In this, Skipper. in this area here, Greg, they've got to keep going down the short sides. Field. He goes wide to Carlo running onto it. There's the reply. John Carlo down the short side, Gary Freeman. And they hit back. Yeah, they certainly have hit back, and uh, Wayne Pierce will be a little happier now. Scoreline 6-6, six, six. but here he saw it down the short side. Craig Ferdy runs into a beautiful hole. John Carlo just gets on the outside of Matthew Spence. Hudson trying to come up with another try saving tackle, but just couldn't do it. Yeah, Craig Field was the instigator here. It was a superb pass. The timing of the run was a treat. Had a bit of work to do on the line, but sheer strength got him over. And you can just see Johnny Carlos say to the referee, I've got that one down. You don't have to go to the replay for that after that head on shot. But he did, did a magnificent job, job, got the ball out from the right, got into the left arm. So Hudson was tacking the, the opposite side where the ball was held. 50th first grade appearance for John Carlaw today, so a minor milestone for him. But he'll be more than happy to be on the score sheet, no doubt, for the Tigers. So we're locked up at six all. And they have been very thin on defence on that side, uh, the Magpies and the Tigers. They've had about three or four clean breaks down there. I think the big thing was that the West, they defend the open so well, they go up and slide, but the short side, they just stay still. That's what put them under pressure. It was good reading by Craig Field going to the line and offloading at the last minute, put Spence under some sort of pressure in defence. Shannon Evan is about five metres in from the far touch. to put the Tigers in front off the upright and it bounces away. Bad luck for Nevin and the Tigers. 33rd minute, six all. West and Bell made one try apiece. Yeah, once again, look at Craigfield. Just goes there to hold the line. So they're starting to slide. Davis went out too wide with his man. And Carlo gets down, gets a little nod. Very unlucky here. Just comes off the pace. Oh. So the restart now by Wes. Important part of the match. This 10 minute period before half time. They've lost the ball, the Tigers. They're going to pack the scrum down. Wes are going to get the feet into the scrum. Gee, I think Balmain did it tough here, Gary, if you talk about ball security. Two in the tackle, and it looks like Mesh purposely just knocked it out with a punch. Well, I, well, I, I think he knocked the ball out. I think that's play on. Well, it's a grey area no matter what, isn't it, in the game today? 
the referee didn't get a call for the touch judge if the referee was unsighted. McGinnis. Bounced out at one. Davis to Brooker from a standing start. He'll be forced to play it. They're only 20 metres out now, Wes. Howard. Big Harvey charging into them. Mesha to Scandalis back from the blood bin. Dorahy. Oh, dance his way through. Full up. Hodgson holding it up. Intercept for Morecambe. Chris Morecambe. Played a season with West back in 1996. Thought for a moment. It could have been a long-range runaway try, but they got to him just in the nick of time. And Belmain, oh, all in all, crunching tackle there from Tate Mosley. Field wide they go. Here's Hancock. Hancock down the touchline. Dinova comes across. He's claimed from behind by Mosley. So they're catching the mapping out on the flanks, the Tigers. Well, they play very con condensed defence, and they've got to just go straight to the line. Sinclair, Sinclair gets the ball back to Nabal. He's still looking for players and, and field. A short once again. Walker comes inside. And Hodgson will clean up and just stay in the field of play. He was carried across. That'll be a penalty. Well, he'd done everything right there. And Morgan put the little chip over. A little extra shove. Wasn't needed. A little bit of a check there, but Hodgson did the right thing. Get down the ball nice and low. And then the, the tackle was completed there. We should have just held on because they're under all sorts of pressure there, Western uh, Suburbs. Listen, up there you've had Walsh, right? Okay, okay. Yeah, another one down here. Gonna give you some benefit for the doubt, but make it away, way, otherwise sure. you won't stay out here for you. A warning on the run for Mosley. He was on the tackle of Hancock, who made that initial break. He's come from behind. He's telling the kid to just keep it down. Otherwise, you'll be having an early shower. Hodgson. A fine touch in the far side. Scandalis. Runs roll into now, Sinclair. Fuller. Hands it off to Mosley. That's the 30. Howard. Always turning in the tackle, looking to offload. This is full up. When Harvey does turn those tackles, you've got to get around and to stop him offloading the ball. That's exactly what the Balmain defence just did then. Scandalis. Got rid of Jason Weber. Stimson was there to complete the tackle. And Mesha. One bounce and into touch. So the scrum will pack down 31 metres out from the Belmain line. That's what they're doing so well. Putting the kicker under some sort of pressure. The Belmain players rushing up out of the line there. As I say, they're still going to watch the guys on the outside that go to run the ball. They'll put themselves under more pressure because there'll be no defence there. I'd love to see Belmain go wide now. This is Weber. Field at dummy half. Carlo. The try scorer. Got the fend going. Got the pass away to Morecambe. Cutting back on the inside. Oh. And he threw the pass and it hit the head of his teammate. Coxon gives it to Denver. And that's Justin Brooker. And Denver. Chris Morgan's done some great things here today, but he's made a couple of silly errors. Passing that ball, then Bitteroff just holding the ball. Howard. 29 metres out from the line. They've enjoyed the best of field position, the Magpies. They haven't been able to convert it into points. They're locked up at six all. Fuller. It's taken by Weber. Also in there was O'Neill. Dorothy Denever. Scandalis, Hodgson, Davis has to go back to claim it. 
Still the final tackle, not a great kick off the side of the boot. The handball back. Dame, of course you're facing that way. Let's come off your hand and end up that way anyway. Okay. So not a great finish to that set by the Magpies. That's the turnover. Davis wasn't too sure what he should do with it, but now Balmain go on the tackle with Jason Lowry. He's looking for someone to pass the ball to. They've got to get there and back him up. This is Brad Smith. Halftime siren sounds in the background. Last throw of the dice in the opening half here for the Tigers. There's a kick from field. Hodgson coming across, knocks it on. The player who gathered the ball, was he in an offside position? No, he was okay, but only just. So that is it. One try in the first half to each side. Carlaw for Belmain, Davis for West. There was a penalty to Rothery for West, then also the penalty to uh, Nevin for Belmain. So at half time at the New Look Campbelltown Sports Ground, it's the Western Suburbs, Magpies, and Belmain all locked up at six all. It's all square here at Campbelltown at half time. West and Belmain six each. And 53% possession going the Magpies' way, but 58% of the time, the Tigers have been locked inside their own territory, Gary Freeman, and that's a problem for them. Yeah, that's a big problem for them, Greg, and Wayne Pierce certainly will address that at half time with his side. But the other thing, too, is the offloads 11 offloads for Western Suburbs, the Balmain's four. Something they'll have to stop, too, because if they keep promoting the ball, they'll be under all sorts of, all sorts of pressure. Mark so try a piece. And the restart for the second half. Field. Oh. Very close to putting his foot on the line on that occasion, McGuinness. It almost paid off for a moment. I thought it was going to be out in the full by Field. And now this is Spence. Trying to Carlor. And a penalty to Nevin for Belmain in the first half. A try to Davis and a penalty to Hodgson for West. And now it is Dorahy, about 12 from halfway. What did you manage to find out around the tunnel, Russell Fairfax? Well, the Balmain camp, camp, they were more concerned about their completion rate. They think that they can get down into, Bal into Western Suburbs or the Maggie's 22 metre area or 20 metre area, then they can come up with some points. They're not completing their sets of six. Western Suburbs, well, they went the other side of the coin. They were talking about defence, especially down the blind side. And Tommy revved them up with a good old-fashioned one about commitment just before they came out here as well. So he's looking for them to lift the intensity. But basically West on the defence and Balmain on the completion rates. Well, that was a pretty good uh, completion there by Dara, uh, by uh, the 5'8", in fact. Dinova, he found touch. About 15 out from the try line. Completion rate at the moment, 11 from 18 for West. At one stage, they were about... Seven from nine, Belmain seven from 16 and 11 missed tackles. Five for the Magpies. The Tigers, 18 out from their own line. And that's Jason Weber. And Lowry pops it out the back door. He finds Hancock. Able the hooker and dummy half to Walker. Ten from halfway. Nable picks up about 12 metres, running out of acting half. And Field, good pickup from a sloppy pass. And Hodgson takes it 10 metres out from his own try line. And this is where Balmain really have got to make sure they get off the tackle play very quickly and get up in their face. Put some pressure on West. And now McGuinness makes a very good 10, 10 to 12 metres up the middle of the ruck. Kevin McGuinness. Graybeck. Driven back in the tackle. Solid tackle as well. Coming in from centre and also Walker. Howard. Got it out the back door. Hodgson. Can't run around like that. Well, the Magpies give up the penalty. Obstruction. You can see there Shane Walker trying to make the tackle. And he turns around to the referee and says, hey, what about that? And he's, the referee, Paul mcclain has gone, I don't need your help. I can see what's happening. So what do they do? Go for the two points? I think they'll run the ball. Yeah. And they know if they're going to beat this Magpie side. They've got to score more than probably 
either, even six. Yeah, I think you've got to score more, probably 12 to win this game here today. Well, they spoke about sets of six down in Western Suburbs territory. This is their first opportunity in the second half. Center gives it to Lowry, charging onto it. It's out the back door, it's play on, center. He's only about 11 meters out. Well, that's three times that Jason Lowry's taken the ball forward and tried to pass it every time. Walker got through one. Shane Walker tries to get the arms free. He had a couple of Magpie defenders hanging on to him, though. Field. Wide they go. The bounce is good there for Stimson. He was taken by his opposite number. And Fuller gives away the penalty. Let it go. Let it go. Just holding on to the leg. A second attempt. This time, they will shoot for two. Shannon Evan will come up from fullback to try and put them back in the front. This is Mark Stimson trying to get the play of the ball quickly. Fuller is the man who's hanging on to the feet. Stimson knows he hears the referee's whistle go. And they'll take the two points. When Walker actually ran that ball up that last time, I thought they would have gone down the blind side. Only Dorothy on that right-hand side. They elected to go wide. I'm going to go back down those short side if they want to catch West napping in defence. The decision to take this shot at goal wasn't decided by uh, Darren Centre. I can tell you it came from the Balmain camp. They said they want the points. They want to get in front early. Nevin, the one he missed today. Hit the upright. He can have a shot at goal and look at himself on the big screen in the background as well. Great kick. Never looked like missing. And it's the Tigers in front again. 46 minute. Belmain leading eight points to six. It's great to see Shannon Nevin and be back in the grave for the last two to three weeks. He's very, very confident. Good in defense. Kicking soon has helped the side here today. Score line of 8-6. Only just under six minutes gone in the game. There's enough sand out there, Greg, somewhere to uh, make some sandcastles when we're waiting to kick those balls. We're doing some repairs during the game, halftime, junior games. Let's call for more sand. There's plenty of it out there. First first grade match played on this new surface. Winter green. Oversown with winter rye. That's and where it hasn't had much time to bed down, they tell me. That's Gary. where it's been sown there. They've, they've gone home early with the needle and thread. Back to the football. <laughs> From the restart. Lowry charging onto it. Ran straight through Matt Fuller. Couldn't get away from Scandalis and also Matt Spence. Now it's Walker. Looking for a quick play of the ball. Center. The captain charges through them craig hancock looming up on the far side west got inside the passing lanes though weber fires it out to field field dummying claimed there by harvey howard 20 meters out great run by center to set this attacking move up quick hands oh, oh he needed to offload and weber took the tackle in the end he had a man unmarked on the outside now it's Sinclair who goes to the air. Gives it plenty of air as well. Pressure here on the Magpies. It's been towed down. Stimson, he puts it back out the back door. Picked up by Walker. Walker got it out now to Morecambe. And Morecambe will get the try. They butchered it over on the other side. And in the end, it was Morecambe that scored it in the left-hand corner against his old club, Chris Morecambe. Well, Jason Sinclair he didn't need to worry about putting it up. But the bust, it's come from there captain and lock forward Darren Center just goes through some very easy defense there from the Magpies best thing he did there, he went to put the big step on decided that he'll take the tackle coming in from behind as Brooker quick play of the ball and out wide they go here's Jason Sinclair puts it up I tell you what Mark Stimps is the man who hangs back he lets the other players go forward and Carla or Morecambe that's a good hit back he thought he was going to score the big man that I'll hope I'm being held up I'll get the ball out the bat great pick up by Walker and there's Morecambe just to finish off yeah, now this was a good kick by Jason Sinclair. Gave his troops plenty of time to go underneath it. But I reckon the pat on the back goes to that man, Mark Stimson, who 
thought he was going to score, but knew which tackle it was, shuffled it out the back, and then, well, this is this was a wise move to give it to Morecambe, straight over, and uh, there was no way that they were going to stop him from about two metres out. That's the distance and the angle now for Shannon Nevin. So it's 12-6. This time it's around to the left. It's flagged away. So a six-point ball game, 12-6, Belmain. Over the Magpies, 49th minute. Two tries to one. Yes, yeah, good work here by Johnny Carwell. Gets up nice and high, bats the ball back. As Russell did point out, the man there knew it was going to be the last tackle. But the hands from Walker, that was tremendous. The two big men, they thought they were going to score, both of them, they just couldn't get over the line. Another restart, and Sinclair hands it off to Jason Lowry. Well, defensively, Bombs taken in defence. West, 47%, and that's the bottom of the NRL. Belmain, 67%. They're about 10th. O'Neill. Good ball. Got the pass out now to Weber. Weber. Didn't have the speed to get away. Hancock loomed up on the inside, but by that stage, Weber was well and truly wrapped up. So this is good stuff by Belmain, playing with plenty of confidence in the second half. The kick ahead by Sinclair, and Hodgson goes back and picks it up. Only about a metre out from his own line, and just manages to stay in the field of play. Good chase by Carlor. Just one of those would be better off just trying to keep running that ball. Jason Sinclair put the little kick over, took the odds to it. Now they've got the Magpies on the rope once again. They've got to come up with good defence there like Stimson has there. And no, Neil, I should say. Well, Russell Fairfax, they've turned it around Belmay. Now it's 50-50 time in the opposition half or in their own half. So that's uh, pleasing stuff for them. And yeah, they're yeah, on front. They're yeah. in the front again. Well, they're more creative right now. But I've got to agree with Gary there. Why would you have not put the ball through the hands or at least put the kick to the corner? The kick went halfway to the corner. Didn't give his chasing side a chance. And that was the, that's the difference between winning games and losing games. Balmain have really got to test their arm a bit more. And Wes, the kick from Dinovit. Now have Balmain inside their own half, but only about five from halfway. Morecambe, the try scorer, will play it. Carlo chased and thrown into the turf by McGuinness, his opposite number. Lowry, short ball centre. Well, Mark O'Neill's getting himself on the edges of the ruck. He put that ball on for Weber Ford, and he ran into a nice little hole there by Jason Lowry. They go wide now with Sinclair for another kicker. This time it's a low trajectory kick, and Hodgson takes it. Now in the far corner. Oh, well, was that a trip? <laughs> Carlo will be spoken to. He was right in front of the touch judge. We'll get his report now. So that goes on report for John Carlaw. Penalty will go to Wes. A bit of great chase down here and John Carlaw with a little, little jink in, in a way and he puts the foot out. And I must say if you're in England, that would have been gone off the field. So the magpies, the crowd starting to get behind them a bit. Good crowd here at Campbelltown, the first home game for 99. They want to celebrate a Magpie victory, but they've got some work to do. They're down by six at the moment, and this is Tate Mosley. Not hell, play on. Good run. Determined stuff by the number 16. Dora, he fires it wide to Dinova. Short ball, Hodson up from fullback. Good tackle by Weber. Dinova. He goes to the air this time, looking for a reply. Shannon Nevin, he takes it in the field of play and claimed immediately by Kevin McGuinness. And another two of the Magpies are in there to try and force him back into the end goal. They couldn't do so. Morecambe came in and helped his teammate out a bit. This is Morecambe now. It was a great take. He was under all sorts of pressure. Only ran about half a metre off his line. I thought the tackle, and there you go. Kevin McGuinness just going a fraction high. 
nothing in it though the referee said as now Bell may try to work it out of their line with Nabel making a good five meters a dummy half is Smith and this is Ostini yeah, this is West problems. This is where they fall asleep. They did the tough work and get it down there, and then they let the opposition out without any problems. But oh, great field. What about that one? Oh, he'll be disappointed with that, Craig Field. He had no chance of catching that one over on the far side. He'll be, di he'll be disappointed that because they had the opportunity there to run it. The West side start to come up a little bit slower, but the pass was never back behind. It was about half a metre in front, and they put himself under pressure once again. Scandalous now, the good one-handed pass from Fuller. The Magpies need to hit back, they're 20 metres out from the line now. Dan Dorohy holding it, got the ball out to Hobson. Hobson, he won't fix his opposite number, and he's going to go in and score a try. That hit back all right, the Magpies. Great work by the fullback, great step. He left Shannon Nevin in his wake, and now it's 12 points to 10. The Tigers still in front of the kick to come from close range. And it all comes to that mistake, doesn't it, on the other far side. But what about this pass from Dorothy? Great little ball, steps off his right foot, does Hodson. There's nothing else Shannon Nevin can do. It's a very good try. Matthew Spence puts his hands up in the air. Simple stuff, but simply superb. Delayed pass. He just ran the perfect angle, the fullback, and then stepped off that right foot untroubled. That's easy money for a player of his capabilities, and he just keeps getting better every week. So Hudson normally would have a shot at goal, but uh, he probably figures he's done enough. Laying on the try, so it's going to be Dinova. One stage of the game, it should be 90 metres down the field, and you're not, and that's where you pay for your mistakes. It's there, the flags go up. 12 all. West and Belmain, 55th minute. The good thing about that try that was scored, the young halfback, Dory, he really did slow his run there, which brought the Belmain defence up. Had them in two minds whether he was going to run the ball or not. Then he's come up with a great little pass. It's a great field. He's the man who's going to take control now, Greg. Really start driving his forwards and get a better kicking game in. It's only that's probably letting down the Balmain side here today. Fritz charges into them. Got rid of one of them. More determined running now by the Magpies, Russell. Well, you can sense a big lift, and the crowd are going to play their part as well. The crowd have lifted. They're starting to cheer and back their side on. They know they're in there with a the hope now. Mosley. Run that roll. Ten from halfway. Mesha. Harvey Howard. Well, somehow they managed to come up with it. It was Hodgson, and now he's lost it. So Help the me. Tigers have it. Oh, we're going to get oh. Well, it's a game of dropsies out there. Who wants it? The referee's going to put us out of our misery. And he'll pack a scrum down. Balmain are very, very lucky to get this ball back here. It'll be easily a knock on there by Craig Field. A great pick up there by Mills. But Field, once again, saves himself by getting the ball loose and then diving on it for the Balmain Tigers. He's just got to be more dominant and take control of this game. He had the right option. He was going to run it nice and wide. Sinclair. Taken by Spence and also Dinova. Meter or two inside West Territory. Michael Ostini. Nabel. It's opposite number. Mesher over the top. Spence underneath. Lowry. One off the ruck. Running off his halfback. Centre, stepping, trying to find a way through. Good field position for them. Final tackle coming up. They scored off a bomb the last time they were here. There's the kick from field. Hodgson coming across, leaps high. That was offside. McGuinness in an offside position. The penalty will go to Belmain. Luigi? No coach. Andrew Lee's just getting a little tip from the referee. Only one catch, and that's Tommy, not you. 
They get across there to take this ball. Hodgson goes up nice and high above the pack. It comes forward. And McGuinness, really, he was in the right place. In the wrong place, really, for his side because it gives away a penalty. Well, Kevin McGuinness had no option. It was either uh, take that ball or give up a try. And now they go wide. The dummy and then the switch of play. Back to the left. Now he's doing a pirouette. Field with nowhere to go. This is where Balmain's really just got to settle down and just play it nice and close to the ruck and then let Craig Field get another set back as Brad Smith makes it around about three metres to the try line. Locked up at 12 all. Centre puts a head down, tries to burrow his way through. Outside Leo Dinova, that's where they've got to go, Balmain. Nable and Field. Back to Lowry from a standing start. They're going nowhere, the Tigers. Back to field. And Ostini to Nevin. Not a great pass. Morecambe puts it on the toe. The chase is on. It's going to be called back, though. Morecambe won the chase. But the referee spotted a knock-on earlier on. He's saying that the, the ball was knocked on by Morecambe. Just there, he drops it and kicks it on. Oh, good call. Very close. Yeah, it's a good call. Well, try the, today. the player could have turned around and said, well, I was actually going to kick it anyway. What do you think, Russell? You know, I just think Balmain got a bit flustered then, didn't they? Why don't they just take it up for a couple and work and, and set themselves to something they do at training every week? Instead, they shuffled the ball just for the fact that they were looking for an easy opening. It just doesn't come at that end of the field, easy openings. My play is 25 metres out from the road line. 19 minutes gone, so probably too early to start talking about field goals. Coxon. Fritz. Mosley. Caught in centre field. Oh, that's good defence. They charged out and put the pressure on the kicker. It's into touch on the full. Dora Heat. Plenty of pressure by Brass with the Balmain defender. He's come flying through, push him out to his right hand side. He comes up with a bit skew with. Now Jason Lowry takes the ball forward. Still maintain that Balmain have got to attack the short side of Western, so it's going nice and wide. It's too easy for the up and slide. To enable a dummy half to field and now out to Smith. Nable. Good metres by the acting half, right in front of the uprights, 10 metres out. They work it to the right, Field fires it out, the double round with Field again. Over the top it goes. And the Maypies defence got across there to shut the movement down. Field kicking across now. Morecambe picks it up. Morecambe for the line. Can he get it down? Oh, desperate defence there by the Magpies, and they hold him up. But the Tigers are going to get another crack at it. Out here, Look out at out. the feet into the scrum. It's a no, great no, kick no, by a, Craig Field. Yeah. Once again, Carlo goes over the top, gets the ball, and I thought he was going to score for all money. But Hodgson, once again, comes up with a great tackle, and the referee says, there, you've held up. He to get the ball down, but it's just too late. Well, obviously held up in the field of play because it's a turnover. On the last tackle. So the Magpies come away with it. They've been under pressure from the bombs. Harvey Howard just showing us a little dummy inside spin play. A bit of a go for the line with Brooker. He's taken five metres out from halfway. That kick was a touch there by Belmain. They have it anyway. It came off the legs. So a good position for them to start this set of six again. Centre. Nine metres inside West Territory. Smith to O'Neill. And Field. Nevin up from fullback. Taken by Dinneber underneath. 
Bellin side doing plenty of work, but it's side to side stuff. They really need Jason Lowry to go forward for them as Wade Rothery makes a return in the second half, makes a good five metres for them. Good recovery by Rothery. He went off for some treatment on a shoulder injury in the first half. Now it's Nabel. They've got to play this left-hand side, Belmain, and I reckon they'll run it on the last tackle. Field. Wide they go. Smith puts it on the toe, but not a great kick. Right into the arms of Hodgson. He'll play it 10 metres out from his own line. Well, the Balmain side would be very disappointed with that. Smith should have given the ball. That's why Craig Fell won the run it, because they were short on that blind. Jared Mills. Taken by Hancock and Rothery. Walker. Is it to Braybeck? Harvey Howard. Three Tigers in there to wrap him up. No chance of an offload there. Denver. Well, he had his own players. And this is play on. Denver had his own players all over the place. Couldn't get the kick away. And so it's come up on Belmain side. And Stimson. 20 metres out. Well, John Carlo had actually gone through, and then he turned around and, and he passed the ball back to him, and he's kicked it back to his own players. Brad Smith makes a little gap. Bust, I should say, in the middle of the ruck. Now it's Field looking for runners. They go wide. Nevin out to Carlo. Forced back on the inside. Carlo gives it off now to Larry. He's pulled out from behind. Get up, easy. Still tackles remaining for the Tigers, a little bit flat-footed, they need to shift it out wide, they keep it alive, Field is there, Craig Field for the corner, oh, it's been intercepted there by Jared Mills and knocked down into touch in goal, Mills did well just to get in the passing lane and control the pass for a moment, enough to defuse that rage, that raid in fact by the Belmain Tigers. Oh, great hands here by Craig Field, picked it up on the run, he thought he was going to score, he came up with a great little pass there. Just Mills just got there in the nick of time to save for Western Suburbs. There will be a dropout, so Balmain now get another set of six at the trial on the Western Suburbs side. Hodgson taking his time. There's the restart. So the Tigers trying to break the deadlock. They've had only a possession, Russ, time to put some points on the board. Well, 16,000 fans here, most of them Western Suburbs fans, and not one of them have left the seat. It's still anybody's game, although I've, I've got to say, most of this second half has been Balmain, but they've been frustrated down here. They can't just... The last pass, the finishing tackle, they just can't put it together. Well, now it is Hancock. He'll play it 20 metres out. Field. Wide they go. Numbers here. Nabel. Out to Carlo. Carlo coming back on the inside. Run away, run away. They went for the intercept, the Magpies, and they were short in, on numbers, but somehow they managed to shut that down again. Now it's Ostini. Michael Ostini running for the line, taken by Kevin McGuinness. Ball and all. Final tackle coming up to the short side. Carlo back to Nabel. Nabel gets it across now, and there's the kick coming in from Weber. High in the air. Who wants it? been knocked down by possibly Belmain because they're coming back to the 20 for a restart. Once well, again, I think Belmain, they probably could have still keep using the ball, but Webber decided there to go for the kick. They put the kick up nice and high. Let's see who does touch the ball here. And it's touched by Craig Your Hancock, his right hand. Nothing else. You instruct him out, instruct him oh, No, you can't. Go. So Andrew Leeds is the... So, uh, former fullback for the West, now retired, and uh, he's out there as a runner, a trainer. He's been warned twice now by the referee that you cannot go out and coach the team. It's a make pies. Just wonder if he actually got sent in order to go back on the field because he said, Off you go. I wonder if that can be done. Denver Hodgson. Driven into the turf there by Carlo. Fuller. Similar to Belmain in the first half. West is spending too much time in their own territory in the second half. Spence. Standing in the tackle. Can't offload. The support wasn't there anyway. To Denver. Nevin. Well positioned. 20 metres out from his own line. 
Tell you what, that was a very good take because that was a 40 20 west of another set of six from the opposition yeah. half of Balmain in attack. Go on, call. Field. Magpies, they concede 37 of their points in the last 20. That's the highest percentage in the competition. So they can't afford that today. They need to go on with the job. Oh, and great ball, Mark, Mark O'Neill. Up over halfway, well inside West Territory now. Craig Hancock. Sinclair. That gives it plenty of air again. This time, the take was a good one from Barry Davis. Just can't see the sense of what the kick was all about. Then they had plenty of opportunity to run it and bring the Magpie defence up, then put the kick over. Craig Field must take control of this game and he wants the Tigers to come away with the two points here today at Campbelltown. Fuller, 10 from halfway. Mesher to Coxon. This is the Kiwi, Matt Spence. Hodson running it. Quick hands. Davis is there. Where are they going? Nowhere. Now it's the final tackle. They need to clear this ball, finish off the set. And Dinova fires it into touch. 25 metres out from the Belmain line. Well, Leo Dinova knows that his side's a little bit tired too. Just walked in the scrum to settle things down. And hopefully that Belmain may make a mistake and they can get another set of six at them from their own, from the opposition's 50. Foxen's going to die his hair like that, put those streaks and he should give his beard at the same time. A new fashion statement for Campbelltown. <laughs> 30 metres out from the Belmain line. It is the Tigers. Plenty of possession in the second half. They haven't been able to put points on the board after West locked it up at 12 all. Try a piece in the second stanza so far. Smith goes wide. O'Neill, Hancock. Pulled down from behind by Brooker this time. Rothery. And that's Mark O'Neill. They keep it alive. Took a little chip kick over the top. We'll just sort the West players out because they are very, very shallow. Let's play on. Came off one of the West players and Hodgson. Stepped away from Lowry, but he can't get away from Stimson. There's no way the referee's going to pull anyone up inside the 10 because both sides have been well in it in the last probably 15 minutes of this second half. Darren Fritz plays it. Back to Mesher. Steals 15 metres from dummy half. Spence. The lock forward. Got the pass away. Who wants it? Mesher, but they'll play the knock on. Bit of a scaffold over there as well. Okay. Come out of your hands into his body and back. Yeah. Pass wasn't that flash neither. I did not blame him for the pass, mate. Ball was knocked on. The referee there saying that the ball was knocked on. There's anything wrong with Matthew Spencer. <laughs> you see, Messer there, he's not very happy with that decision. And I'll let you guess what he said then. To the referee. I like the referee's reply. He said the, the pass wasn't flash anyway. oh. But this could be a very important moment in the match. What a pick up by Kevin McGuinness. The made by mistake. Or in fact, the made by making them pay for their mistake. And he's going berserk at the moment. Oh, McGuinness scooped the ball up. The Tigers, what were they thinking? What were they doing? And now Western Suburbs are in front 16 to 12. Oh, just an easy drop ball there by Jason Sinclair and McGuinness. He's been one of the Western Summit's best players here. But what about the pick up then? Unbelievable on the run and scores a very, very good try for the Maggies. 
Well, here it is. The little toe poke through. Just enough to get McGuinness head start. Now, this was a gutsy piece of play. It did fall well for him. But everything was riding on that. Trusted his judgment. We'll just check it out here again. Here's the judgment now. Whether it's going to bounce, whether I bend. Well, he does both and gets it cleanly. And gets the baggies in front. I can tell you, 16,000 fans here and every one of them lifted up their seats. Six try and 99. What a timely one for his side. Dinova. From close range and the flags go up. So it's Wes. Somewhat against the run of play, leading by 18 points to 12. They're pretty happy here at Campbelltown, let me tell you. But still plenty of time left for Belmay to get back. A little smile on Steve Georgiala's face there. He's up with a broken thumb. Very, very happy that his side now is in front of Brakefield now. It's a really motivated side, the Tigers, to try and come up with this victory here. But, geez, I'll tell you what, Harvey Howell will take the ball and hit at 100 mile an hour. Russell, you said earlier on, the crowd's going to play their part. Well, they're certainly lifting at the moment. And making that tackle there, Nables hurt himself pretty badly. The trainers are out there, the referee stopped the game. The referee feels that's a pretty bad injury, yeah. Well, he's uh, he's not with us at the moment, so I'll get a quick replacement on there. Good to see them get him off quickly and get some treatment on him. Gee, his eyes are somewhere else. Just it's a shame for Adam because he's been pretty solid at a dummy half. A great steal there by Jason Larry to get around. There was no dummy half marker whatsoever. As the ball now has come forward off his legs. Now there's a knock on picked up by. The touch judge on the far side. Well, Wes coughed up the football, gave it to the Belmain, and now they have knocked it on. Well, the referee said that it was play on. He lifted his leg out here on the right hand side. Then the linesman has said that it was a knock on. I think the linesman was wrong. Six minutes left in the game. Bellman really got to throw caution to the winner, throw the ball around. They'll go for a big push here. Denver offloads. The West just need to work it out of their own territory. Hodgson trying to step his way through, but he ran right into Michael Ostini. Mesher looking for runners, and he finds Mosley. Can they hold on? The Magpies. Will it be a successful homecoming? Mosley in a spot of bother there after that tackle. It's okay. It's not that bad. It's good. Wyatt, Wyatt. Wait here. Well, Andrew Leeds hasn't been Sinbin because he's still out there and his role as a trainer. He's allowed to help the injured players off, I suppose. Denver getting the kick away. Carlo running back. And John Carlo takes the tackle. This is Hancock. Kevin McGuinness scored the try. Ostini. Look at that three big high defenders in there. Nevin and Smith. Brad Smith. Can't get away from Fuller. He's dropped the ball. And he's dropped the football. And not too happy about it either. Believe it, Smith. Yes, again, believe it. Believe it. Four and a half minutes remaining on the clock. 18 12, West Sober Belmain. He's running to the hole nicely here, Smith. But then Fuller's come up with a very good tackle. And he gets hit by Dorothy there. And the ball just pops out. It's a very good call by the linesman. On the other side of me, just listen. In that hole, Ruckus, you called the play up, this player's lashed out, and had to go up the other player's face. I don't think he connected. Listen, it can go against you. I'm not going to penalise you. Cut the crap out. Simple as that. Cut it out. And Dorothy. Lucky to get away with it, possibly. Lucky to get away with that being penalised. Yeah. Well, that's... I reckon Craigfield is right there. The game of the referee say, well, if you thought that, why didn't you penalise it? Wes, bring it back. Craig, take a step. Get it in there, don't you? Dinova to the short side. 
Taken by Craig Field. Lost Deeney. McGuinness at dummy half. This is Spence. Good strong run. 40 out from the Bell Main line. And the try here should be enough for the Magpies. And that was Braybeck. Top the shoulder charge from. And he's walked two metres off the off the mark. Mesha. 26 metres out. Dorahi. Kicking, the chase is a good one. The bounce is going to favour Brent Hudson. Did he get it down? They'll go to the video referee to see if that's the ball game. I'll tell you what, I don't think he's got the ball down because Hudson didn't even jump up whatsoever. And he turned around. I'll tell you, Rothery, he was away if the referee said play on. See, he doesn't know. Well, it happened so quickly. Well, he's onside. The referee asked for, is he onside when the kick was put through? He is. So that's play on there. But whether he gets the ball down or not, that is the question being asked of the video referee. I don't think this is going to tell it. This is the, the video. See if he gets the ball down. I don't know. And that's play on. Wade rather he comes to pick the ball up here, he makes 20 odd metres. Well, the players know it's no try. They're ready to go. Still 18 points to 12. West over Belmain. So in those circumstances, you say play on, and then when the first tackle is completed, made, you then go back. Go back to the video referee. Well, it's all a learning curve. Something else for Mick Stone and the referees to think about. They've had quite a bit to think about in recent weeks. The time running out here for the Tigers. Can someone pull a little bit of Belmain magic out? I just think in that instance then that the player got up and just didn't even acknowledge that he scored the try. Then he should have gone on and made it for the second tackle and then played on. Field. Sinclair showing it, then taking the tackle of Scott Coxon. Inside the final minute, Craig Field kicking over the top. Hodgson. Oh, courageous oh. take. Oh, and he's in big trouble, Hodgson. There was a lack of communication there, Hodgson. There was no way he was not going to take that ball, but did he call for it? They've collided. Was it knocked on? Who ended up with it? Oh, there was some body contact there, wasn't there? Those players realising Matthew Spence is the other player that's down. Both realising how important it was to take this catch. And both of them, Matthew Spence has done a magnificent job to get there. He actually catches the ball. Unbelievable. So there's no knock on, so it should be. A West ball. Oh, such a shame. They won't remember too much about what could be West's big win here on their home territory for the first time in 99. And Hodgson is okay. So all they have to do, Gary, is play out this set of six, and the two points is theirs. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what, you've got to say to yourself, you take your hat off to the Magpies, but at that situation there, they could have easily lacked off and not gone for the ball, but they just really promoted themselves to get there and Spence. He's had a fine game. As I said, play out this 30 seconds and the game's over. They've got to watch out that they get penalised for slow play of the ball, though. Hodgson. Well, Russell. Looks like they've got away with the two points, uh, the Magpies, and they'll be celebrating around here for a while. They certainly will be. History in the making today. First home game for season 99. First home game here. And it's going to be a victory, and they're counting down the clock as we speak. And they just drill it into touch. They may not have time to pack the scrum down. Tell you what, player, one person on the side that was going to make sure it was going to last a little longer was Andrew Leeds. He actually hit the ball behind his back. It's all over at Campbelltown, the new look Campbelltown. 
And at full time, 18 points to 12. Western Suburbs over Belmain. It was locked up at 6 all at half time. In the second half, two tries to West, just the one to Belmain. So six point victors. And Belmain, well, they had plenty of territory in the second half, just couldn't, couldn't convert it into enough points to win it. Yeah, they couldn't. They had plenty of opportunities, and Craig Field should have taken more control and dominated that ruck area because they were gone out wide a few times, the Western Southern side. But I tell you what, take your hats off them because their defence today was absolutely outstanding. Belmain just blew too many opportunities to score the try. Three tries to two in the end. They're happy here. So full time, a try to Hodgson, Kevin McGuinness, and Davis. Dinova kicked two. Dora, he won. And for Belmain, tries to Morkham and Carlaw. Two goals to Nevin. Locked up at six all at half time, but full time at Campbelltown. The Western Suburbs Magpies have beaten Belmain by 18 points to 12 in front of a good, healthy, strong crowd. And congratulations to them. A fine day all round for the fans and also the team. On behalf of Gary Freeman, and Russell Fairfax, I'm Greg Clark, wishing you all farewell from Campbelltown.